Lord, open there our lips, and our mouth shall show forth thy praise. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Praise ye the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. Welcome to St. Mark Little Angels for the service of um, morning prayer out of the Book of Common Prayer. I hope that these words, uh, these ancient words, are some comfort to you at this time. Let us pray. O come, let us sing unto the Lord. Let us heartily rejoice in the strength of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and show ourselves glad in him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great king above all gods. In his hand are all the corners of the earth, and the strength of the hills are his also. The sea is his, and he made it. His hands prepared the dry land. O come, let us worship and fall down, and kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is the Lord our God, and we are the people of his pasture, and the sheep of his hand. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Alleluia. The Lord is risen indeed. O come, let us adore him. Alleluia. A psalm this morning, number 30. I will magnify thee, O Lord, for thou hast set me up, and not made my foes to triumph over me. O Lord, my God, I cried unto thee, and thou hast healed me. Thou, Lord, has brought my soul out of hell. Thou hast kept my life from them that go down to the pit. Sing praises unto the Lord, O ye saints of his, and give thanks unto him for a remembrance of his holiness. For his wrath endureth but the twinkling of an eye, and in his pleasure is life. Heaviness may endure for a night, but joy cometh in the morning. And in my prosperity I said, I shall never be removed. Thou, Lord of my goodness, hast made my hell so strong. Thou didst turn my, thy face from me, and I was troubled. Then cried I unto thee, O Lord, and get me to my Lord right humbly. What profit is there in my blood when I go down to the pit? Shall the dust give thanks unto thee, or shall it declare thy truth? Hear, O Lord, and have mercy upon me. Lord, be thou my helper. Thou hast turned my heaviness into joy. Thou hast put off my sackcloth and girded me with gladness. Therefore shall every good man sing of thy praise without ceasing. O my God, I will give thanks unto thee forever. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be world without end. Amen. A reading from the prophet Ezekiel, chapter 37, beginning at the first verse. The hand of the Lord came upon me, and he brought me out of, out by the Spirit of the Lord, and set me down in the middle of a valley. It was full of bones. He led me all around them. There were many, very many lying in the valley, and they were very dry. He said to me, Mortal, can these bones live? 
I answered, O Lord God, you know. Then he said to me, Prophesy to these bones, and say to them, O dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. Thus says the Lord God to these bones, I will cause breath to enter you, and you shall live. I will lay sinews on you, and will cause flesh to come upon you, and cover you with skin, and put breath in you, and you shall live. And you shall know that I am the Lord. So I prophesied, prophesied as I had been commanded, and as I prophesied, suddenly there was a noise, a rattling, and the bones came together, bone to its bone. I looked, and there were sinews on them, and flesh had come upon them, and skin covered them, but there was no breath in them. Then he said to me, prophesy to the breath, prophesy, mortal, and say to the breath, thus says the Lord God, come from the four winds, O breath and breathe upon these slain, that they may live. I prophesied and he, as he commanded me, and the breath came into them, and they lived, and stood on their feet, a vast multitude. Then he said to me, Mortal, these bones are the whole house of Israel. They say, Our bones are dried up, and our hope is lost. We are cut off completely. Therefore prophesy and say to them, Thus says the Lord God, I'm going to open your graves and bring you up from your graves, O my people, and I will bring you back to the land of Israel, and you shall know that I am the Lord when I open your graves and bring you up from the, your graves, O my people. I will put my spirit within you and you shall live, and I will place you on your own soil, and you shall know that I, the Lord, have spoken and will act, says the Lord. There endeth the first lesson. Praise thee, O God, we acknowledge thee to be the Lord. All the earth doth worship thee, the Father everlasting. To thee all angels cry aloud, the heavens and all the powers therein. To thee, cherubim and seraphim, continually do cry. Holy, 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 Lord God of Sabaoth, heaven and earth are full of the majesty of thy glory. The glorious company of the apostles, praise thee. The goodly fellowship of the prophets, praise thee. The noble army of martyrs, praise thee. The holy church throughout all the world doth acknowledge thee. The Father of an infinite majesty, thine honourable, true and only Son. Also the Holy Ghost, the Comforter. Thou art the King of glory, O Christ. Thou art the everlasting Son of the Father. When thou tookest upon thee to deliver man, thou didst not abhor the virgin's womb. When thou hast overcome the sharpness of death, thou didst open the kingdom of heaven to all believers. Thou sittest at the right hand of God in the glory of the Father. We believe that thou shalt come to be our judge. We therefore pray thee, help thy servants, whom thou hast redeemed with thy precious blood. Make them to be numbered with thy saints in glory everlasting. O Lord, save thy people and bless thine heritage. Govern them and lift them up forever. Day by day we magnify thee and we worship thy name ever world without end. Vouchsafe, O Lord, to keep this day without sin. O Lord, have mercy upon us. Have mercy upon us. O Lord, let thy mercy lighten upon us, as our trust is in thee. O Lord, in thee have I trusted. Let me never be confounded. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. second lesson is from the Gospel of John, chapter 5, beginning at the 19th verse. Jesus said to them, Very truly I tell you, 
The son can do nothing on his own, but only what he sees the father doing. For whatever the father does, the son does likewise. The father loves the son and shows him all that he himself is doing. And he will show him greater works than these, so that you will be astonished. Indeed, just as the father raises the dead and gives them life, so also the son gives life to whomever he wishes. The father judges no one, but has given all judgment to the son, so that all may honour the son just as they honour the father. Anyone who does not honour the son does not honour the father who sent him. Very truly, I tell you, anyone who hears my word and believes him who sent me has eternal life and does not come under judgment, but has passed from death to life. Very truly, I tell you, the hour is coming and is now here, when the dead will hear the voice of the Son of God, and those who hear will live. For just as the Father has life in himself, so he has granted the Son to have life in himself, and he has given him authority to execute judgment, because he is the Son of Man. Do not be astonished at this, for the hour is coming when all who are in their graves will hear his voice, and will come out, those who have done good, to the resurrection of life, and those who have done evil, to the resurrection of condemnation. There endeth the second lesson. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, for he hath visited and redeemed his people, and hath raised up a mighty salvation for us in the house of his servant David as he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets, which have been since the world began, that we should be saved from our enemies and from the hand of all who that hate us, to perform the mercy promised to our forefathers and to remember his holy covenant, to perform the oath which he swore to our forefather Abraham that he would give us, that we being delivered out of the hand of our enemies might serve him without fear in holiness and righteousness before him all the days of our life. And thou, child, shalt be called the prophet of the highest, for thou shalt go before the face of the Lord to prepare his ways, to give knowledge of salvation unto his people for the remission of their sins. Through the tender mercy of our God, whereby the day spring from on high hath visited us, to give light to them that sit in darkness and in the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and sitteth on the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you, and with thy spirit. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Our Father, which art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive them that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. O Lord, show thy mercy upon us and grant us thy salvation. O Lord, save the Queen, and mercifully hear us when we call upon thee. Endue thy ministers with righteousness, and make thy chosen people joyful. 
O Lord, save thy people and bless thine inheritance. Give peace in our time, O Lord, because there is none other that ruleth the world but only thou, O God. O God, make clean our hearts within us and take not thy Holy Spirit from us. Let us pray. O Lord, from whom all good things do come, grant to us, thy humble servants, that by holy inspiration we may think those things that be good, and by thy merciful guiding may perform the same. Through our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. O God, who art the author of peace and lover of concord, in knowledge of whom standeth our eternal life, whose service is perfect freedom. Defend us, thy humble servants, in all assaults of our enemies, that we, surely trusting in thy defence, may not fear the power of any adversaries. Through the might of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. O Lord, our Heavenly Father, almighty and everlasting God, who has safely brought us to the beginning of this day, Defend us in the same with thy mighty power, and grant that this day we fall into no sin, neither run into any kind of danger, but that all our doings may be ordered by thy governance. We do always that is righteous in thy sight. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Well, thank you for joining us here in, at St. Michael and Dwayne in Christchurch, New Zealand, for morning prayer from the Book of Common Prayer. You've got to admit, it is absolutely wonderful. Beautiful words, lovely rhythm and phrasing, uh, really nice structure, good classic stuff. Now, uh, next service is at 10 o'clock, which will be live streamed from our church. We are allowed to live stream from our churches, so I'm off there now to go and prepare the sanctuary, which hasn't been used since Mothering Sunday. So there you go. Please join us for that service of spiritual communion and get to see our church uh, again. Thank you for joining us. Let us pray. Almighty God, who has given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplications unto thee, and does promise that when two or three are gathered together in thy name, thou wilt grant their requests. Fulfill now, O Lord, the desires and petitions of thy servants, as may be most expedient for them, granting us in this world knowledge of thy truth, and in the world to come, life everlasting. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Ghost, be with us all evermore. Amen.